Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over the new Paragon Towers and Balloons TD6. So, I'll, in this video, sadly, I'll only be going over the Dart Monkey, the Apex Plasma Master, because I do not have the XP for the Glaive Dominus, but I will be making a How to Get XP video very soon, and I will be finishing up this. So, I'm gonna unlock the Apex Plasma Master, 250,000, let's see. Ooh. So, I'm gonna test this guy out. Let's head into a sandbox mode. So, I'm pretty sure from all the leaks that all you have to do is get one, two, six, three. We go, Ultra Jug, Quick Shots, oops, and Long Reserves. How is this supposed to work? Maybe it doesn't work. Like, maybe you have to do it in a challenge? Because I'm not grinding. So, let's edit challenge. Edit challenge. Okay, so we'll be getting the Dart Monkey. Dart Monkey. Dart Monkey. Let's go Juggernaut. Plasma and... Apex Plasma Master. I almost clicked that. For two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in easy mode, I can get the Apex Plasma Master. This action will create a Paragon Dart Monkey. All other Dart Monkeys will be destroyed in the process. Of feed oh, it's kind of like this Super Monkey. So I guess we're just gonna spam a lot. Of Super Monkey fan clubs. Okay, I got tired, so all I did was get a bunch of Dark Monkeys, a lot of Super Monkey fan clubs. I also got a Crunchyroll Master using my monkey knowledge. I want to see if this guy gets absorbed or if he will just stay. Pretty sure if I buy one of these, it's going to go in the position. So I'm going to go over here. Do it. It did absorb that guy. 30 Paragon Power. Oh, Paragon Degree. So I'm guessing that is kind of like power. Guessing you could level it up. Let's... Well, first of all, can this guy see camos? Oh, I can't spawn anything in this in sandbox. Let's see. Uh, I'll get a village just in case. Let me see how long this guy goes. Well, I'll get an elk. What else can buff? Uh... That's weird, okay. Oh, maybe it's gonna have to play. Okay, um, I'll get the Ultra Boost. Okay. <laughs> huh? And this guy has an... No village buff? Hold on. Bruh, uh, that's... Oh. So, I guess that this guy cannot get buffed at all. Couldn't... Could I maybe... Here, how can I interact with this tower? I will try to support Chinook. I'll get a special abortion because I have the money. Marine, let's uh, and chin up, chin up, chin up. Oh, wait, do you actually need to Oh my god, okay, so you can't interact with it. Uh, what else can I interact? How else can I interact? Oh, wait, yeah, let me get my. Okay. Um, okay, so you can get the maxed upgrades back. Hold uh, on, let me just check that. We got. Ultra Jug. We're gonna get a. Okay, so you can get these guys back. Oh, this guy just looks so cool. Well, oh, oh my god. So I'm guessing here, slow this down. He has the crossbow from the uh, crossbow bottom path. Shoots like it, has the range. Has the Ultra Jug's little like 
balls and the station that are, it's stationary, not just like a monkey. And it also sh um, has the, I'm pretty sure that's plasma. Yeah, so that, I'm pretty sure that lots of pops, leads, metal, all that good stuff. Now what else, ooh, Sun Temple, Sun Temple. Could I absorb this then? Here, just in case, I'm gonna get back. Okay, let's see if I can absorb it. You can't. You can't interact with the Apex Plasma Master. That's gonna be so good. I can get a Sun Temple right next to it. Okay, what if I were to sell it and rebuy it? I'm not getting this Paragon to reback. Let's just see if I if I sell it and rebuy it. What will happen? Boom, boom, boom. We'll get Crossbow Monster, Plasma Fan Club, and we'll do this. And we're at one Paragon Power. Yeah, you, um, I don't know how good the Paragon Power is. I think that's really it. That's really the whole update. Let's go check out Bloon Source. Here it is, the Bloon Source. It ends in two days. We have normal. Apply it. Oh, I should probably change my hero. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy. Yeah, I'll go Quincy. Start boss event, tier one, tier Ooh, it's a boss balloon, so I'll go Churchill. Let's start it, so, okay, so we can get some trophies. Get some new, so get new banners and stuff. So, we start off like this. Oh, I probably did something already, I probably, yeah, I have played it already. And I use Quincy, and that's no good. Let's play. Let's get down. So, I know the balloon source is strong. I know that he's, though he's weak to tax. Preferably the tax zone. So that's what I'll be going for. I'm gonna, uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure the tax zone can solo him and everything he throws out, all the other balloons that might be coming out. I know the basics of balloon source. He's not that hard. So, I'm definitely gonna save up for a farm. You definitely need farms to stop Bloom Source. Now, can you get Paragon from this? Wait, the color is different now that I have the Paragon. The Paragon looks so good. Hmm. Maybe now I can get my farm. Yeah, I'll get it here. Now, which is the best path for farm? We don't have Ben. I'm thinking it's gonna be Central Market, so I don't have to keep collecting it and I can just make the money. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the best. Uh, maybe a 204, 203. I have to get enough money to get this tack going. And maybe my hero. Here, I'll get a few farms and then I'll get my hero going. Because you always wanna get your hero down very quickly so we can start leveling up. My plan is to hopefully get the mob barrage to take out the mobs on round 40. And then it's, if I take out the mob on round 40, then it will just be the balloon source. Okay, so things are gonna start leaking. I'm gonna have to get more attacks. So I, they don't all leak. I'll also get faster shooting, even faster shooting, and even more attacks. That should be able to clean up everything the dart monkey misses. We should also now we'll be able to get, nope. But we will show up for a greater production. No banks. Uh, we will get greater production. I need a little more money and there we go. We can get greater production. I think easy collect is gonna be good. I'm not gonna, uh, I should still collect it. I'll get banana salvage. Now I'll show up for a marketplace. Uh, okay, hot shots. Oh, we don't have any lead popping power. So it's either we get Churchill by round, around 20. I don't know what round the leads come out on. I think it's around 23, somewhere on there. So we're gonna, those camels are also gonna come out. So we might wanna get that ninja monkey down. I'll place him right over here. I'll probably end up selling him later. Is there even sell? Yeah, okay. Let's save up for a marketplace. We're gonna need this. This will make us so much money. 
Does, oh, well, it, won't, it doesn't really make you a lot of money. It just gives you it. <laughs> you could make more money by going any other path. This is basically just... It doesn't really give you any money, extra money until you get Central Market. It also gives Merchant Men more money. I don't know if it stacks, though. So, around 40. So, I think the next one's gonna come out around 60, then it's say 80, then 100. It's probably gonna take the place of all the major balloons. Okay, so now we got Marketplace. We can we'll get Tax Sprayer. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna get Churchill, and then I'm gonna get more banks. Churchill will be our lead popping power. And, oh no, look at the round. Let's all be coming out very soon, but we have Churchill, so lead are not a problem. He, I got him a little later than I wanted. It might take him a little longer to get this all the good loot, but shouldn't take that long. I definitely need his ability, though. For, uh, we'll get another greater production, easy collect, banana salvage. I'll just leave it there. I'm not. I don't really want to collect it. But now I have greater production, I will indeed collect it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it without our tax zone. I'll get one more marketplace and then I'll start saving. We have 10 rounds, so I'll get this marketplace. This guy has paid for himself. And his friend over here. Let's save up for the overdrive. And then we should be good. It's I'll come up here around in eight rounds. Overdrive, we're gonna need it for cleanup. I hope, hopefully we'll also be able to get the tax down. It's only 20K. We have seven rounds. Oh no. Sure still doesn't have camo. I'll get Ninja Discipline and Sharp Shurikens. And double, oh, I'll get Seeking Shuriken. You can't go around with Seeking Shuriken. And if I have extra money, I'll get him double shot, but I really want to see if I can get this tax zone. I might have to sell some of my farms to get it. It's also a really good spot, it's gonna get everything. But I really want this tax zone. I might have to sell some of my farms, so my ninja, so. If this guy, okay, well now he has camo, so the ninja's not really needed. So I'm gonna do some extra balloon damage, extra moab damage, extra damage. Though he is, this guy I'm not gonna sell unless I need the room because he's free. Monkey knowledge, am I right? And the good thing we have Churchill. Let me lower the sound a little bit. I'm ready. And in two rounds, we'll fight my first time fighting the Blunasaurus. We might. I don't think we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to sell a farm or two. We need 20k. I think we're not gonna make it. We need 10k, and if we sell both of these and this guy, we should be able to make it. But these guys are making me quite a bit of money, so maybe I should sell them a little later. And here it is, the Bloonsaurus. 20,000 health, and it's getting melted. I don't know what's melting it. It looks like it's the tax zone, or is it Churchill? These need to produce me more. We need that tax zone. Bloonsaurus, he's... Getting destroyed, he's on, he's, uh-oh, not the surrounds. I'll have to use Churchill's ability, and I think I'm gonna have to reset here. So, we're going to have to sell a farm, oh no. How can I stop this? It's, it's saved. How can I stop this? It's gonna start something right into it. Here, what's the hotkey for Ice Monkey? T. I'm gonna try to save this game. And I am back. It just spawned in. I'm gonna be selling all of my things in order to get the tax zone. So now that I have the tax zone, its health is draining. I shouldn't be dying. We should be good, hopefully. And that was the last rush of ceramics. And we defeated tier one. What's this guy called again? Bloom Populous? Oh, I don't know. I, I've lost brain cells. So he will be back very soon. So we're gonna have to get more marketplaces. 
make more money. So, lo losing a little bit of money to get all these guys is gonna be a lot better. And here he is. I'll start off using his ability. With this primary expertise combined with the Moab Mahler, I'll be fine. The tax zone is shredding everything. Even though it only shoots with things in its radius, it will blast. I'll use a my, his things again. We're so close to getting Moab Barrage. I might have to get it. The Saran Brush. Can I take out the Saran Brush? I think I can. Tax zone is very nice. Blue, he's about to do his last rush. When he, he pops, I'm waiting for it. I'll use AP shells. We're on round 63 right now. This might be bad. The Mold Mauler is doing good. He popped. And this should be smooth sailing from here. The tax zone will clean everything up. I could get primary expertise. I think I'm gonna have to soon. I will get Mold Assassin and Mold Eliminator. Yes, now we got tier two. I'll be saving up for the primary expertise with the extra range and popping power, plus the extra money saved is worth it. But while I'm saving, I'll get a few more marketplaces. And soon these will become central markets, but for now, I'll be good with my marketplaces. Now, just to make sure I don't die, I'll be getting a perma spike, smart spikes, and I'll put it on smart. Or I could just put it on far, which would also be there. Close would be there, normal. Hopefully it doesn't put any there. If it does, I'll have to move for the targeting, but I don't think it will, so that's good. So, Deadly spikes should just be a little barrier that we need. I'll get a few more farms. I'll get another easy collect. I'll get a... Another easy collect. Another, uh, another. You can never have too many farms. With my new monkey village, I should be good. I got mob elam, which will hopefully do a lot of damage. Taxon will clean up anything. Ho hopefully, my primary expertise will also do some extra damage. It's at first right now. It shouldn't be that bad. This guy's also at first. I definitely have an increased popping power than I did last time. But will it be enough to beat the level three? I don't know, but all I know is that I need more farms. Farms are everything in this trap. And now I also need to lower the sound. It's getting kind of crazy. I also have level 10 Churchill now, so I'll pop this as soon as he comes out, and this. He has 350,000 HP. Insane, insane. His ab This guy's ability is rapid, so I'll be able to destroy. I'm, I'll set him to strong. I will just keep using these abilities. Setting them all to the right targeting. Just keep using the Moab Elam, and now they're sending out Moabs. This primary expertise is doing so good, buffing and doing their own damage. I told you we would need one of these guys. Moab Elam is one of the best Moab damage in the game, and we definitely need a tax shooter. So we'll also be getting a Mad soon, but that's not as important. We just need to, to get this guy weaker. He's not taking too enough damage. We could look at some other upgrades like, let's see Master Bomber. We might have to get a Master Bomber. We can upgrade to Perma Spike. We can use more abilities. We got we got him to his next stage. As long as he in, stays in range of attack or any other things, the attack will expand. Nothing is getting close. We have the primary expertise firing. We have everything we got and we're throwing it at this guy and he's taking it all. Once we get him past this, we should be fine. We got a Zoe MG coming in. It's out of range. The Moab Mauler should maul all of these new Moabs coming in. 
now the mob eliminator is back to its main target. It's heading to the balloon areas. Everything else is, we got everything we can and we're throwing it at the sky. Let's get a crossbow master. You can't go wrong with a crossbow master. And even with the power of the crossbow master, it's still getting through. I'll will now be out buffing my perma spike with stronger stimuli. And we got tier three. Now, we're not gonna survive another ambush like that, so. And we might have to sell the stronger sim, it's giving it too much range. But what we can do, is you can get a stronger stim over here, and hopefully he'll buff the Moab Mauler, Churchill, even the tax shooter. Even if it buffs the village, it's still extra damage. I could get Permabro. But I have a plan. If I'm gonna get Permabro, I'm gonna put it up here. Not exactly what I'm gonna do. I might have to sell the guy later, so I'm not gonna waste extra money on this. There's some, right now, he's buffing this guy, but eventually I'm gonna need something here. And since money is not that much of a problem, I'll also be getting a, right here, I will be getting a Master Bomber. Don't have the money, but I'll also get Sharp Shurikens. I'll, why not? I'll get Parachute Potions. And I'll get Master Bomber, so I'm pretty sure I get Global Range now. And that's gonna help. I'm gonna have to sell this guy very soon, I just want all to be able to, once I pop this guy, I'll be selling him if I'm alive. I'll use this and hopefully it recharges. I need more money. I made a mistake, but I need more money. Money is everything and everything is money. Especially when you're going against people this strong. I use all the abilities and look at his health. Just from the Master Bomber, it's going down. I never knew how good Master Bomber was until I realized that it, well, it's not good against balloons, it's good against Moab class balloons. So I tried it out and it did pretty good. So I'm gonna be using it against my biggest foe. It's already done more damage. I'm pretty sure this guy also has global range. I'll set him at first just to make sure nothing sneaks by. But that is what the crown spike is for. This is tier four. The music is very nice for what we're going up against. We have to get our farms upgraded while also using our abilities. We gotta make sure that this bomb shooter is always using its ability whenever you get it off charge. The mob Elam has to be doing constant damage. Try to also use Churchill's. Now this guy will just hopefully destroy all of those Moabs, those OMGs. I'll get, I'll upgrade all, more of my farms, while also making sure to use the ability. He's getting pretty far. This is not looking good. I'm gonna have to get some more stuff after this. Right now, actually, I'll make sure to grab a mag. I don't have enough money. I'll have to upgrade one more farm. Maybe I have enough money to get one more. I'll use the ability. I'll use this ability, this ability, oops, this ability, this ability. Everything we got, we gotta use against this guy. He is too powerful. His zoom G's, oh no, I even went back to the wrong cross platform. We have to just do as much damage as we can get. It's an alarm. I think we got this. We're so close. We just gotta uh, do a little more damage. Come on, we're so close. Okay, now we can get everything focused. I have to sell this, I went the wrong. Actually, we're, we're gonna be fighting one thing, so. My bad. We're gonna be locking this guy in for now. No, not this guy. This guy needs to stand first. We'll lock this guy in here. 
He was such a bad aim. There's not really anything else we can do. We can hopefully get a little more farm, but that's gonna be it. I'm gonna spend all the money I have on farms. These guys have to get sold. Well, I'll click this guy. This guy will have to go. I'm gonna be going for the Dark Monkey Paragon. So I'll be getting a Ultra Jug and also a uh, Metal Path. I don't really have the money for getting all these guys, so I'll only get a few. I'll go middle path, middle path. I'll immediately start off with this. Hopefully we'll get some pops. We're getting more and more monkeys. This is the last guy we have to fight. In a little bit, we'll be selling all of our farms. Keep sh This is the final guy. We'll be selling all of our farms in just a second. We need, while our farms are producing us more money, I'll be make putting down more and more of these guys. We need to get more. I'll be using the plasma again, just to try to get more. Even right over here, we could use some. We need middle path. I've lost my mouse. We'll be using this ability. Okay, now it's time to sell all the farms. I'll be using this ability. We gotta use everything we got. We'll be getting the Dark Monkey Paragon right now. Blasting this guy with literally everything we got. We got paragons in here, mags, we got every... We're doing the most damage that we can possibly be doing right now. We're hitting him with everything that we got. Target, target those, target the mat. This, look how, look how powerful this, these things are. Combined with the mad, the Moab, the uh, Moab Illuminator and the Paragon. Once the Paragon goes out of reach, we're done for. We're gonna keep blasting this guy. The, it's out of, we cannot blast. We're starting to get affected. We have, once, now it's just all we have to do, and I think we did it. We took out tier five normal mode. I forget the name already, that's not good. We have defeated Blunarius. We got the Blunarius badge, 125 monkey money, 30 trophies. A droid and a 301 that's pretty nice mortar monkey so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed i'll be posting more see you next time peace